and anybody missing it, uh, there's always the replay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode number 55. This is the last show from this place, this house. We're moving Friday, um, signing the deal on Friday and getting in the new place on Friday. Um, no, <laughs> no, no rest for the wicked or weary. I mean, we just have to get in and get out. So anyway, um, what's going on this week, anybody? Got any news for me over here? Um, looking at the chat right now, let's uh, do a call out here. 908, I've probably got the the uh, titles all messed up. All you see is the logo still? Refresh your, br refresh your browser, Roy. I think everybody else is seeing everything at this point. Um, and the first attempt at the live um, didn't work. So that could be what you're seeing. I don't know if I can get rid of it, I will. Um, I mean, I'm live right now. That's all I see. I fixed it. I guess I'm back. So refresh your ba uh, browser. Yep. Um, it's good. Work. It's back. All right, cool. So. Oh, my goodness. Deuce is wild. Victor Shameless, EQRC, Chris Jackson, Eric Rogers, Kevin Jones, Mitchell Farley. Congrats to somebody. Captain Photon, Anthony Sanfilippo, Mark Shirey. Um, Jordan Dole, what is up? Yeah, you made your 70 millimeter EDF F16 from E Flight rocking the Pilot Ryan Captain Mike shirt. HTC gameplay videos, uh, Kevin Jones, if I didn't say it, Michael Honeychuck, Daykin 17 from Calgary, Keith, what is going on? RC Jet Jam at Fredericksburg Area RC on September 20 to 23rd. Bring your EDFs and your turbines. Thank you, HTC, for that. Uh, Captain Oton's watching the Cowboys. He says, the Craft King, Randy, Rufines, um, oh, Eric Rogers, uh, Reckham Roy's cool. Craig Beaven, what is happening? MCSSI, going to get the Birdcage Corsair out tomorrow to flight control checks. Yeah. I actually flew mine yesterday. Enrique Kramer. Um, what is up, Brian Chambers? Too windy here in Indy to fly. It was kind of windy today. Let's talk about this thing behind me a little bit. Mike Kennedy, what's going on? We'll talk later. Uh, you certainly understand why I had to pr take precedence on this baby. Um, Jordan Dole, Deuces Wild, Kevin Ferros. Kevin Farrows just put my 64 millimeter F-16 from E-Flight together. We'll fly tomorrow. You uh, undoubtedly you saw the videos on it already. So give yourself a good shot at success and start that. Start from there. Um, Mike has been flying ours, uh, you know, since we did the workups, and he put safe on it, and um, he's loving it. He's loving it clean too. Eric Rogers, uh, RC Warbirds are in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Mike Kennedy's prepping a Dyna Meteor for my son's first EDF Maiden. Awesome. Uh, I think we added a little nose weight on ours when we did the, the job. Mary Boozer RC, what's going on? We are awfully close to the 30th where we're going to be seeing our um, Marlin showing up at Hobby Zone. Which is really cool. All you guys who are waiting on that uh, will be fulfilled very soon. That's a great little plane. Check the uh, videos out back a handful of uploads at this point. There's actually a playlist for Aeros RC on this channel. Brad Mullins, what is going on? So, some of you guys saw a little surprise video on the E Flight Havoc if you're a Patreon. And it's an exclusive, so sorry to rub it in to the rest of y'all's nose, but that was a wicked flight. The rest of you do not be forlorn because I have a maiden flight that was absolutely 
I felt comfortable right away, and the maiden is ripping as well. I mean, I didn't have to. Tr I mean, there was no trimming involved at all. I mean, it was just um, really, really nice. Are you talking, Mike Kennedy? Are you talking about the uh, meteor? So, so that was fun, and then we did our work yesterday because I am packing and moving and things like that. So I got to fly this beauty right here, which is quite a treat. You guys, the F-16 video went out on Monday, and it's about 7,000 views, and it's doing really good. And um, I want to thank Horizon Hobby for that one. And um, also, uh, also for this EC-15. Mark Shirey, FMS is distributed by Horizon Hobby. So if Motion's not carrying Horizon Hobby products anymore, that would explain why FMS is also no longer carried there. Um, sorry, not sorry, Mitchell says. Havoc Flight was epic. Yes, it was. And the Maiden's awesome. And I've got so much in store for you guys. But man, when these videos are doing good, I have to just kind of let them, let them run their course. Um on the Havoc, what size pack did I use? I'll have to watch the videos to remember. I It was either an Admiral 5000 or an RC Jetworks 5570C, the Roaring Top. By the way, I did the Maiden on this baby with a 5570C 4S Roaring Top, and it was really nice. If you get jumpy and you want one of these, the link's in the description, unless I screwed that up too. Um... But I might be able to actually put it in here. I guarantee you I'll screw something up though when I do. Yep. There it is. All right, I'm back. <laughs> That's it. Um, anyway, Chris Tompkins built my 1500 today. Very disappointed in the power system. Looks like they're trying to get rid of old stock. Not worth 400 bucks. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I, I can't wait to get talking about this thing. Um, I was totally impressed by it. Now, I don't look at the thing and think it's going to be a speed demon anyway. Um, Barry G. Christian RC, what is going on? Somebody tell me how many folks are in here. I'm not seeing it. So the jolly good thing is going... What? When is that, B Boozer? Also, you need to tell us what's up with your show tomorrow. Yes, Victor, it is. Yes, Victor, it is. And there's... I get it, Ethan RC. Hey, it's not for everybody. I'm not here to talk about price, but I do want you all to know... Um, I was impressed. And wait till you... I mean, we're going to work this up a lot because there's a lot this thing offers. Um... I know already that there's a, a more scale version out there. Yes, of course there is. Um, from Hobby King, that's fine. Um, but nothing looks like one of these and has as wide a flight envelope as this one. Um, you guys are going to like that maiden flight. I, I, All right, I'm going to take these off for a second because I just want to bring this over. If I can, it's a monster and show you some stuff. But it's it's got a lot going on for it. Yeah, no retracts keep it really light as well. You gotta make what the choices that are right for you. It's okay. It's not for everybody. That's absolutely okay. But I will tell you, um, when you see Pilot Ryan flying, pretty soon you might be buying because this thing was a lot of fun. Uh, so out of the box, it came like this. Obviously, the spars weren't in it, and I did screw on the vertical. When I first opened the box, I thought um, EQRC, wherever you can get it, my man. It's not available, I don't think, at Horizon yet, so I can't put it on the Amazon store. But anyway... We can we can talk later. I'd love to help you out though, and and wherever you get it, tell them who sent you. All right. Uh, hopefully, HobbyZone.com will have them pretty soon. You know what I mean? 
because they're a great uh, associate of mine as well. The cargo door does open. Um, I actually need to bind it because I forgot my radio when we took it to the field and worked it up, so I had to do it with um, Mike's radio. Anyway, out of the box, when you open the box, it looks like there's a lot to do because there's, it's a complicated, not complicated, but there's just a lot to the airplane. All I had to do was screw two screws in for the vertical stab and rudder, which has a servo connection, just one down in it. And then I got to bring this over because I'm so impressed with this thing. So here's our halves here. And you can see this bit right there. This slides in. Of course, there's the plastic bit there and the spar. This slides in to a piece I'm going to show you in a minute. And then when you want to release it, I don't know if you can see this. This little ridge right there clicks in when you slide it into the fuse. And then you push on this to release it. It's neat. It, it's neat. So like I said, this is how it comes out of the box with the exception of uh, I put the vertical on and the uh, spar already. So here's a shot of the bottom. This thing comes with skis. It, it, it's, just, it's just neat. And then there's the cargo door stuff right here. So I want to try to show you how slick. Yeah, you can kind of see there how slick the tail is going together so like I said I showed you the the clicker right there and then obviously spar it spring tab thanks listen to this click it oh too cool right Not gonna lie, I want to 3D the cargo plane. Yeah, right? So, same deal over here. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to see that. Ball links on this thing. You can have safe if you want. It was super windy yesterday for our maiden flight day that we did safe since we had to rebind it anyway on Mike's radio. I was like, all right, Mike, let's do safe then. And uh, we, we played with that a little bit. And it's cool too. And we're getting it in. And listen to this. Click it. Awesome. So now you've got the spar here, which is solid. It's not a tube. And brass threaded inserts in here. Obviously, this is where the wing goes. And there's the connector. But before I get into the wing, I really didn't aim to do an assembly video uh, with this bird because it's so big and I'm trying to move. But I want to show you a couple other cool things. And this is goofy uh, set up holding this like this. But this is set up for FPV. So you can put your antenna right there. Guys are going to want to know if that's big enough for a Mobius. It's not. It's just slightly, slightly too small. Now, guys with editing software, they can turn it and then fix that in post. But it's just a little bit too small for a Mobius, but it's really made for the antenna. Where you would put your action cam is it's kind of hard to get off. It's so it's on there so well. Let me let me get that off. <laughs> so where you would put the GoPro or any other kind of action cam is up here in the front right there it's sizable too so you can get a lot of stuff up there and have a nice clean shot we're excited about this because we think it's going to be and it's two magnets we think it's going to be a great chase plane so now i want to show you um the best i can it's hard to y'all It's big enough. She can sit there. Uh, the cockpit. So it's got these indentations right here and then these plastic bits on the bottom of the canopy. And it's magnets on the back end and tongue groove in the front. Uh, loads of room in there 
if you wanted to do something magnets magnets the tongue look how huge this is inside so I have like I say a 5500 70c 4s roaring top there's your steering servo obviously the receivers back here um, there's three straps you got plenty of room now the 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 wing bolts are just screw in by thumb screws they're slotted if you want to tighten them with a um, flathead but you don't need to I drilled a couple holes in here just to hold these things and keep them so I can put the wings on and look at this beauty without having to th uh, thread them in all always so now what we're gonna do is I want to put these wings on this baby this is cool too all right I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit on this plane see how we're doing that's a little better right that's a little better I know it's kind of dark but it is what it is so we'll do Oh, another super cool thing. So, when this aircraft comes to you, at least mine, these there's a joiner here that made this aileron panel and the center flap ailerons. Lots of control authority. You, when you take the little bit of tape off of here and squeeze in on these, they release like it as if it were ordnance, and you can lift them out of the way, and you can take the joiner out and um, then put in the joiner for this. So I made my flaps work together like that. And I was like, ah, I'll just let my aileron be the aileron because I don't need that much authority. And so when you lift these out, the plastic bits are numbered inside. So, so is the joiner. So you can't get it wrong. The numbers obviously go together. So, so by default, mine came with the center portion with the aileron, but I made it where the center portion goes with the flap now these can't all be together it says so in the book you'd have to do some you'd have to make arrangements but why would you want all that anyway so it's either or either the center goes with the aileron or the center goes with the flaps but i did it like that exit air hole the uh props uh spin inboard towards the fuselage i really had a good time with it i think it's really smart that the um thumb screws come in from the top so you don't have to flip this baby over and it fits very positively look at that I mean it's I couldn't believe how easy it was because I really thought I was going to have a build ahead of me like there's a lot of parts or something vortex generators um, power these are BL15 brushless motors on here so, man, that's pretty baller, right? I really haven't found anything I didn't like about this. Um, but one thing, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Guys, this thing is large and in charge. I'm going to set it back here behind us again. Um, look at that beauty. Dude, I thought it was cool. And then, again, I'm not going to open this cargo door right now unless I can. I really don't want to force it open. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Bear with me, y'all. Okay. It's on a steering, or not a steering linkage, but it's obviously, man, that is so cool. It's, uh, can you see that? Look at that. Is that cool or what? So servo works that and it's on your gear switch. So really easy to assemble. This thing was so fun to fly. So, so fun to fly. I'm going to figure out getting this on here where we can kind of display it because it is worthy of some attention. Look at that.
Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Bear with me and I'll get your comments, guys. I can't wait to see what you got to say. And I'm going to tell you my one. Hey, I worked that out pretty good, didn't I? I'm going to tell you my one, um, one con about this thing. Um, look at this beaut. Oh, my goodness. It's impressive. Wait till you see. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Guys, is that cool or what? Wait till you see it fly. So, my one, 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 one con that I can think of is. The shaft is a collet style. So they show some pretty crazy stuff um, in the video and all. And it's definitely doable. You know what I mean? But I actually had a propeller fly off. I didn't get it on tight enough. Um, I didn't get it on tight enough. So here's my, you know, like with the F-16, I gave you guys my, my take on that. I want you guys to be successful with my my opinion on this is it needs nothing except due diligence on the props so i tighten it really hard um but i think it compresses the hub of the prop a little bit and you don't quite get what you need for that collet so you could add another washer or something just to give yourself a little spread the load a little bit uh, there's already one already that you're you're tightening down on but you can scuff up the shaft uh, if you'd like. It's a good idea. I actually kind of squeeze my collet together a little bit in the back. And then I also, because um, it flew off on me. I mean, in the air. And uh, I had a, I still landed it well. We did okay, you know what I mean? Didn't mess it up. But it could have been bad. So definitely taxi test around a little bit make sure it's all all is well but i ended up doing scuffing it up the best i could at the field and ca in those bastards on there <laughs> pardon me on that one uh and then after that it was cool and i flew it a couple more times uh so, so then we got an official maiden i mean i lost the prop on climb out and first turn so it was immediately um dead stick it in I think this plane is so well behaved. I probably could have flown it on one engine, but I was too low to try that. So I just uh, flew the glide and just stalled her real nice and gentle on top of like the beans. It's like soybeans or something over there. So um, no harm done to the plane, but I, it could have been bad. I'd have been so mad. So everything's good on this bird. Just make 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 sure you've scuffed up your collet um i again i use ca and kicker on, on that stuff you know i scuffed it up a little bit and then put some ca on the shaft sprayed the kicker on the inside of the collet um got them on there torqued them down taxi tested a bunch and made sure the gap wasn't getting bigger you know what i mean and uh after that i was good Twins hate one motor, absolutely. Um, but man, this big vertical, and I, I'm wondering if you were in safe, if you'd be okay. I mean, it'd be weird, but I, I, I was wondering if I could nurse it. I almost beat the beans and could have landed it in the grass. <laughs> Grossman, what's going on? Happy birthday to you. Um, Fred, Fred Barron, fashionably late, what's going on? Anybody else just showing up? Um, Jeff's Custom RC, man, you guys are the best. Um, where's Dave's RC, man? I missed him yesterday. I was out at the field doing this stuff. So me, Mike, and Bobby Kamita were out there getting filmed. Um, Mark Shirey. 
Um, well, this is an E-Flight model right here. Um, but Hobby King does have a C-130, uh, right? You guys, some of you guys know better than I do. I think, is it, it's a twin, isn't it? Or is it a four? Um, David Dallas, what's going on? Kevin Jones, no, nah, man, uh, the new house is, I'm still going to be flying at the same field. I didn't get out in the country like I wanted to. Blue Loctite and use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten them. No pliers or adjustable. Um... Yeah, you know, at a point, too, you have to figure out how to hold your motor still, sometimes. Captain Photon Bobby is at the Timber Brothers fly-in, where I would be if I wasn't packing a house and getting moved. This is the last show right here. You're not going to see this black stuff again. Um, you might while I'm fleshing out the, the next studio, but... Um, because I don't want to show you the uh, the studio till it's done. Just wing it. What's going on, Michael? Honey, Chuck. Yeah, Bobby Kamita is at the Timber Brothers show. Oh, man. Okay, Eric Rogers, I see you. Hey, well wishes to our buddy Dave's RC. It looks like his kid's having a, a migraine, man. Those are awful. Debilitating. Lost my Bearcat today. Totally my fault. Lost it in the sun. Oh, man. Uh, Fred, thanks for the confirmation. I thought so. This this plane, here's what's cool about something that's, is the wide, the wide flight envelope, right? C-130-esque, cargo plane for sure. You've got the drop. They give it to you. It's on the gear switch. Um, Captain Photon, thanks, man. Uh but it's a I, I call this utility and it's a plane that's been optimized for flying. This is a model. So it's it's based loosely on, you know, full scale, real, genuine article, but it's optimized for us. When they're that's why that's why sport jets are something that every EDF guy should try because the scale jets we fly are awesome. Absolutely. And they share some of the traits the big ones do and all that stuff. But when you get a sport jet and you can fly the fiddlings out of it as if it was a sport prop plane, you know, aerobat, it's it's nice. It's neat. It's neat to be able to have a thing act symmetrical, so to say, like, you know, right side up, upside down, knife edge stuff. You know, it's kind of neat when you can play around in those ways to have a plane that, uh, doesn't fight you when you're doing it so this can be flown really nice and slow and scale and you can also have a ball with it i mean it's i think it's a totally utilitary uh utility um plane with a wide flight envelope that can do about whatever you want it to um looks cool and has a super wide flight envelope which isn't something you can say about all of them. Um, it's really light for its size. Comes with skis, whatever. You guys will see me fly it. Um, and then we're going to work it some more. We're super excited about this being a chase plane because being able to put that camera up in the front and then not have anything in the way. Bobby is one heck of a chase pilot, even line of sight, not FPV at all. It's crazy. We get some crazy stuff the other day with uh, the MiG-17, and he was following me in the Cherokee from E-Flight with a, a Mobius on top. I, there's a shot of it, I think, in one of the videos I put out, uh, one of them. But there, he had me in the frame most of the time, which is crazy for line of sight. Yeah, man. Bobby Kamita, man. Uh, he's our new new member of the Pilot Ryan Network. So what am I missing? John Turnbull, I'm new to Warbirds. I have the Dynam Falk Wolf 190 and P47. Which would you start with, or is there another you can recommend? Both of those are pretty good models. Uh, I really haven't met a bad Falk Wolf 190. And P47, I would say go with first, just because it's got shorter. The Falk Wolf has long legs, so if you prang it, you're li it's easier to bend them. You know, but it's nice and wide, but they're tall. I think the P47 is really what's up. 
Mark Shirey. Okay, Ryan, you have a good night. Thank you for all what you do. Remember I asked you about the port connector for the FMS P47 Razorback. I don't remember port connector. What do you mean, buddy? Talk to, lay it on me, Mark. What do you mean? Like right side, left side port? Bobby can do everything. I might hire him someday, Captain Photon. No. I need to capture the MiG-17 with the afterburner installed now, says Deuces Wild. Biff Rude, how do I take a rubber band plane weighing and, con and convert it to a screw-type wing as their kit for that? Something's up with your comment. How do I take a rubber band plane weighing? Something's not right there, probably. P-47, says Eric Rogers to Bobby. The Jug. Half a model rocket engines for JDO takeoffs. Yeah, Mike, why are we waiting for that video? Jeff in Lower Alabama picked up the Tower Hobbies Corsair. Great plane for 109 bucks. Hand toss is real easy. Connections. I get it, but what's the question about the connections? Did I answer you already? The 47 has nice wide landing gear. Yep, because I ain't got my... <laughs> Jeff's Custom RC's got a made in his MIG. Check them servos out. Photon has to maiden his as well. He's probably got a lot of maiden. He means a rubber band connection type wing like the apprentice. What about it though? Weather's not good, says Jeff. Uh, Dave Kowiski, if he's asking how to convert a plane where the wing is held on with rubber bands to being held on with screws, Go to Lowe's, get some nylon bolts and some washers. Figure out a place to install uh, some doublers and perhaps some of those nylon nuts. And, um, you know, what I would do is put my screws in the wing kind of first. Um, obviously, you need to know where they're kind of going to go. Um, I would do four at least. Um and then let that make an imprint you know what i mean put your holes in the wing where you know you want to attach them set the wing on the plane put your bolts in let it leave a mark where they're going to be and then that's where you can do your work for your for your blind nuts or your nylon nuts and those kinds of things that's what i do raymond molina what's going on hi from new york just wing it um Gross, man. Yep. -da 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 -da. Mary Boozer. I had a ball with a toss and boss. Toss and boozer planes. Thanks, farmer man. Today, Dora is better looking, but I can't believe I'm saying this. I'd buy the Mustang if I could only have one. Upgraded my F86 Sabre with the Avanti power plant. Big difference, says Jack Miller. Victor says, great weather, just crazy work weeks for me. Uh, can I run a 6S 4000 FMS in the Razorback? It may be kind of light for you if you do. It depends on which 4000 you're talking about. But I was running the Admiral 5000s. So compare the weight of the 5000s with your 4000s. You can look at the specs on the website for both and get a good idea of the weights and then see what's up. And then you can discover what you got to add. I don't think you can... It's hard to overload the nose of that P-47. Uh, Mark Shirey, you're talking... Yeah, FMS. Um, bam. Thank you, Farmer Man. Uh, Deuce is wild. Eric, it's all good. Mr. Cub Crazy. Cub float fly today. Flew Slowpoke Custom and Grand Tundra. That's awesome. You guys see our buddies in... Uh, man, what a week, right? So... The, the video Monday went out and did really good on F-16. I think the pilot Robert and Captain Bloss shouted out our channel the same day or Tuesday. I don't know. And the week before, it was the MiG. But, dude, it's this channel grew quick really fast. 
Um, Ryan, what size better are you flying in that uh, twin? And is it EC5? Good question, Just Wing It. Came home to charge more packs. Stoked to catch the show again. HTC uh, gameplay videos. Thanks for that very much. You're in Australia. Did we go over that last time? Thanks for that, guys. Make it rain. Uh, I'm buying a camera, new one. I'm going to get off this webcam deal. I'll have it as an extra camera. Um, we're getting something nice for outside that I can use inside as well. Get some lights. Um, this microphone seems to be doing pretty good, but I'll have to get something for the camera. Um, it is EC5s. There were two addendums with the EC1500 1.5 meter killer diller uh, E-Flight Bird. So both of these addendums are really no big deal. They're, they're really kind of obvious, um, except one would screw you up on getting prepared. So I need to get actually an EC5 to EC3 adapter to use my... I got a couple 3200 um, 4S smart batteries. Um, they have EC3s on them. Now... If I have a camera on the front of the plane, I'm probably okay using this. I, I need to experiment some more, but you guys know I like them nose heavy. I had that 5500 all the way up against the servo. Um, so a couple of these in parallel, there's plenty of room for it, man. And all of a sudden you got a 6400. Um, so yes, the plane comes with EC5. That's one of the addendums that it reminds you that it's EC5s, even though the, I think, first manual says EC3. The other addendum speaks to flap values. So the flap values are the same. It's just in the book. They're not annotated as negative. So the correct setting for flaps is... Uh, Obviously, zero is like neutral, and then your mid flap is negative 50%. Landing flap, full flap is negative 100%. Um, also, the mixes stay the same. So it's 12% down elevator um, at mid rate flap, and then 25, 24% at full. It was it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, and I even flew it with safe on, which I don't usually do, but we bound it that way. And so I tried it. I actually bounced a landing really good in safe because I, I got caught watching the plane. I was like, this is the maiden flight. I'm dead sticking it. It's looking perfect. And I ran out of airspeed and that son of a gun just bounced uh, pretty good. And I just flew away, no problems. But the one thing that happens with safe is it sets your pitch for you, but you can't forget to be in the throttle, you know? And so this thing doesn't weigh a lot, and you got those big, how many blades are on these props? Five on each? So there's a lot to slow it down if you're dead sticking. So, um, so after that, I turned it to regular AS3X, kept my speed up. Uh, I got my elevator authority back, you know, that way as well. And... It was awesome. So I'm going to show you guys the maiden flight. I'm going to get it smashed up into an edit. Um, tonight's pretty ambitious of me to say, but I'm going to try to work on it tomorrow and have it ready for Monday. Uh, we'll see. Um, Biff Rude, I filmed it. The, the video will come out as soon as I can get it done. It's when I say edit, all I'm doing is playing with color and zooming it in. I don't cut anything out. You're going to see that bounce landing. Um, so just seen lots of complaints with them. What are we talking about? Phone boy, what's going on? Try to fly them. It will handle 500 grams batteries. No problem. Just push them all the way back. What are we talking about? Back. What plane? Safe is like having training wheels. And you know what? I you, you guys who watch our videos know that we don't, aren't afraid of crosswinds. But when they're coming out of the north, it's awful. And I'll tell you why. There's a quarry behind us. There's a hill. Then there's a row of trees. It screws with the wind bad. So it'll it, it tumbles off of there. When it's coming from behind us, the wind is just choppy. 
we've actually had them just almost feel like it's been, they've been slammed to the ground sometimes when it's coming out of the north. When it's coming out of the south, it's got that big, long, expansive, flat land um, to get pretty stable. You know, it's pretty smooth when it's coming the other way. Talking about LX models, I don't have any experience with LX models, but yeah, I've heard that they're good planes, but the components are nothing to be trusted. EC-1500, what am I missing? Had good day, love RC, good day of flying, had some odd vortexes, but it was good practice going again in the morning, awesome. Uh, Captain Crouton maidened uh, some, I think his FMS uh, Vanti. Biff Rude, I mean, you, you training wheels are for wimps, I, I guess is what you're saying. That's that's cool, whatever. Um, everybody's got opinions on this stuff. It's fine. I think it's cool. Like if I have to get video on a on a plane that, uh, and it's crappy out, and no one else would go flying, I can still go out and do stuff. It doesn't fly it for you. You still have to do what you got to do. I bounced the snot out of it with safe on. It doesn't land it for you. It just it just levels it out. You don't have to use it. Um, but if I'm my job is to review these planes and show them, I it it makes sense that I show the things it can do. So EQRC talking about eBay. Mrs. Boozer, what is up? Uh, Grossman got the Avanti all back together after a smash. The joke about it is that now it has all the original pieces back on. A testament to my improving repair skills, I guess. Yeah, speaking of repairs, man, I flew. You guys remember the big Corsair <laughs> deal? I flew that baby yesterday. It was nasty out. And I flew it. No gyro. Not a wimp. Not a wimp if I had one in it either. So foam boy. Yeah, Grossman, little nose weight in the Spitfire. Foam boy, Ryan, what do you think of getting a free wing T forty five ninety millimeter plug and play for twenty bucks? And only need a few parts. That's a smoking hot deal. Um Safe for hand launching, says Mr. Cub Crazy. Mike took up our little uh, F-16 and was flying it like a kite in that stuff with Safe on. He was having a ball. He's getting crazy flight times out of that little F-16. Got to show what they can do, Ryan. Just don't roll too low to the ground with your shiny new jet. Absolutely. <laughs> I was having too much fun, man, and uh, trying something new. That's what I get. Um, John Turnbull. E-Flight, you know, it depends what you're coming from and what you expect. E-Flight Warbirds are great. It, if you are advanced, you might want to go for something else. But, I mean, if they've got the one you want, I'd say pop on them. They're affordable, and they come with everything in them, full house, and you've got the technology as well if you want it. Um, Don Wilman, good to see you, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, man. I never even tried. That was such a dumb move, too. That thing is kind of snappy. Definitely snappy, but it flies awesome. Pilot Ryan, no more make a grown man fly videos. Yeah, I'm trying hard. I'm keeping them... I'm keeping them exclusive to just just because I got a channel to run. Um, sometimes I can, sometimes you can't. It's all about timing. Another wheels up, touch and go. <laughs> yeah, hard. <laughs> Brad B R C. Anyone in here in the Florida Panhandle area? Don Wilman wants to know if anybody's tried the Black Horse HE 111. Mary Boozer says, John Turnbull, the E-Flight P-47 is absolutely amazing. It is a good good plane. 
It is a good plane. Wow, has it been about an hour already? Thanks, Captain Crouton. Yeah, I got to throw that maiden up too. I, I think I want to get another one. Um, breaks my heart though. <laughs> Just wing it. You didn't miss nothing. That's what Patreon stuff is. I know, Mike Kennedy. It's just, it's a, it's a crazy time right here at the Pilot Ryan Network where I feel like I, I, I finally have had some hard efforts come to fruition and I just don't want to mess it up. The havoc, just wing it. It was my fault, though. It was not the plane. It was me. I thought it'd be cool if... I did a, a, a loop right after doing a loop where on each side of the loop I did a roll. So I go up one side of the loop, roll. I'm at the top, roll. On the bottom, I get out of the power because I'm going to pick up a lot of speed heading down toward the ground. So I don't want to do that. So on the back side of the loop, I do a roll too. I've lost a lot of speed at this point and I don't have any power on. I'm all of a sudden I'm at the bottom of the loop committed to what I had in my head and I I go for a roll, pulling up, going for a roll. I just completely snapped it, almost recovered, but basically pretty hard um, bounced it off the deck. Um, and it became a donation for Mike. It was all clean breaks, and uh, Mike has a havoc now that he's got to fix. Just a servo, servo on, actually. And I'm going to get a new one. I can't, I can't stand it. That thing was awesome. You guys, I, I will post a maiden. I will post a maiden. Raymond Molina, uh, do I play with simulators? I really don't, man. I probably should, but I, I, I have, but I don't. Um, even in the winter, I probably should, but I don't, I don't do micros inside either. Those loops and flips are called Emmelman's. Well, yes, but not if they're all in one, the same loop, you know what I mean? Cause I didn't, I didn't turn over and come back around. I turned over, kept going. Roll kept going. Roll kept going. Roll. It's like a rolling circle, but vertical. Um, but not as many rolls right into the ground. Not all my impressive maneuvers are intentional, says Don Wellen. That's what I get, man. I was feeling really good, dude. I was having fun. And I got to tell you, when you fly with guys who are really good, it pushes you. Bobby Commit is awesome. Uh, and uh, it, it, pu it pushes you. It's good. It's good to have to to be be around that or watch that sometimes. Man, that son of a gun. <laughs> uh, I'll have to figure out a way for you guys. I mean, go to the Patreon page. I, I don't know if you have to be a member of the Patreon page to be able to see it, but it's there. Somebody post a link to the Patreon deal. You guys want to see that video? Exclusive content. That's what YouTube preneurs are doing. Um. I suppose I should do it as well. Thanks, Jeff. Um, Captain Crouton says he crashed thousands of times on flight simulator this winter. Lost a lot of confidence. Well, you didn't lose any money. You know, it's cool. Just hit the respawn. 300 bucks. Bam. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. <laughs> Simulators are great. I'm not dissing on them. I just haven't spent any time with them. Um, you know, it's funny. Like in my... The the life I've carved out for myself, I really love working up these planes. And so I don't always get to revisit them as much as I'd like to because I... I uh, super busy guy, man. I mean, honestly, when I fly, y'all see it usually. Dave's RC, what's up? Good to see you, man. Um, is everybody doing okay over there in your neck of the woods? 
I thought I picked up something from from Eric Rogers. Yeah, Mitchell Farley. Thanks for dropping it. That's my Patreon page, you all. That's a place you can go and connect. We've actually had a handful of you guys. Dave's RC says hi to everybody. Blow them up with some emojis. We've had a handful of guys on a YouTube message thread that has been actually really, really cool, but YouTube's taken it away at the end of the month. Not, not just ours in particular, but the whole feature as a whole is going away from YouTube. So there's nothing that I want to invite you hangar rats in on. But I think eventually there's going to... Hey, Dennis Farley, man, taking a break from saving the world to hop in the chat, man. Good to see you, Dennis. I was wondering about you. Um, Captain Crouton asks about Dave's RC. How you doing? Loads of emojis for our buddy Dave's RC. Um, I actually feel bad because I missed his show last night. I always actually, I really like going. Um, and if you haven't checked him out, please do that. But uh, I was out flying this baby last night. I didn't get a chance to, to tune into the show because I popped out after work on Friday and got something done. Because today had to be devoted to getting packed and moving some things. I almost have all my planes out of this property and at the shop waiting for getting the keys to the new place. Um, so, nuts. Michael Honeychuck. F-16, F-15. Says hi to Days RC. Brad Mullins, yeah, man. Uh, I keep as many as I can, but they also keeps the whole thing going. Building trucks, Texas T. Whoa, Fred, thanks, man. Working on this flex jet. Had to bypass the Aurora. What a pain. I had to take away the sequence gear doors and make them mechanical. Oh, no, Dave. Reckham Roy says he was in and out. Don Willman, loads of emojis for the new house studio in Havoc. Fred Barron, you're a treasure. I don't care what they say about you. Thanks, man. Um, thanks so much. Captain Food, that's a lot of work, Dave. It is. Um, yeah, Eric uh, Rogers, Dave, told me about your boy. Uh, hope he's good. I actually had a guy at work who, who, who had a migraine come up on him uh, when we were at a job Friday, and I took him, home, I took him back to the office. He's salt of the earth. Um, guys, if you're out there working or managing people, there's some turkeys, obviously, as you know. Um, but you get some gold every now and then. Guys who, if they're sick, they're sick. No BS. This dude, he he wouldn't say it. He he tried to get through the day anyway. Uh. And it was obvious he was hurting for certain. I was like, dude, you're done. It's it's okay. I'm taking you back. Um, so migraines are debilitating, dude. Uh, I had one, one time for three days when I was in the Navy. And it was so bad, I didn't ask for permission. I hit my rack for like three days. And then I was good. How was the EC-1500? Don Willman, it was fantastic. And, uh, of course, you knew I was going to say that. But it was. It really was. Um, and, man, when you love what you do, it's always fun. But it, it's every plane has its thing, right? This one is super utility, super wide flight envelope. It's got the onboard tech that makes it just really nice, even when it's windy. Um it's got the potential to drop stuff out the cargo, you know, door on the back. And it's four cell power. EC5s. It's got lights. The landing lights are always on. The nav lights on the wingtips are always on. There's a, uh, I don't know if it's a strobe or if it's just always on. I can't remember. On the top. And then there's one on the tail too. Like at the end of the fuselage. It was lit up really cool. Um, it's nice. Wait till you see it because it was like nighttime when we filmed it. Not like pitch black, black, but um, 
it, it, it was it was good. So Don Willman, I like it. If you want something that's big and easy going, but also capable, like that's that's it. And something cool for the kids. Like I've got a Woody doll with a parachute that I used to drop out of the uh, FMS Ranger. I had had it rigged up. Um, I'm gonna drop them out of here now. So what am I missing? Kevin Farrow's uh, Real Flight Nine is out. Yep, Grossman, my new place is actually even closer to work than this one. I'm probably five minutes from work now. Um, neighborhood pool and stuff for the kids. They're little. Eight, six, and two. So that's that's where it's at. Brad, my go-to plane, we one you fly the most on your own time. Brad Mullins, I don't have a lot of my own time. I tell you what, I always bring out the new, the, the kind of the new one. Like, when I get a chance, I've been flying the Devil out of the uh, MiG-17 and the Free Wing F-18. Um, even though I'm done filming them. But, I mean, I love all my stuff. I just don't always have room for it all. So, I really like my FMS P-47. Uh, my gosh, there's so much stuff I really enjoy. Um, the A4, the FMS A10 has been fantastic, man. It really has. Um, golly, I, I really, I don't, it's hard for me to answer that one. Uh, I'm missing a lot. Uh, EC5 or XT90 thoughts. Well, I love how they go together, even though people will cringe when I say that. The thing to do with the XT90 um, when you're putting them together with an EC5 is to stick a screwdriver in those connectors and splay them open a little bit so there's some more tension on them when um, you put them together. Yep, Mike Kennedy, that's a good one. I forgot. Uh, FMS BAE Hawk is a fantastic flying plane. Um uh, Dave taking care of his kid. It's all I'm getting right now. Better safe than sorry. Yep. Look after those kids. John Turnbull is safe on its own switch with safe select. Phone boy, what's up? Good to see you. Um, Tom Heat Dirks, good evening, y'all. Just back from Buddy Box flying, teaching a friend. Hey, anyone here going to E Warbirds and Jets in Ohio? Um, Captain Crouton, don't the XT90 and EC5 connect into each other? Yes, they do. Uh, I, I would splay out the prongs on the XT90 so it contacts harder with the EC5, though. Otherwise, they're a little loose, too loose for comfort for me. Um, Don Wilman has the Hobby King Sky Mule. I added a bunch of lights to check out the video on my YouTube channel. Search for Sky Mule Lighting Final. Don Wilman, you're a moderator. Drop a link to that video, please, in the chat if you if you don't mind. Do you guys remember my Flakbait B26? Don Willman drove a long way to pick that up for me a long time ago. Um, he was doing business here. Is that right, Don? Isn't that you? Michael Honeycheck, FMS A10, final decision. Going to order it. So, what, the Arctic camo one, Michael? Is it available now? Where are you getting it, Honeycheck? Talk to me, dude. YouTubepreneur hustling. Let me be the one to get it for you. If you if you don't if if you don't mind. Love the E Flight P thirty nine, says Lee Davidson. It's neat, isn't it? It's not, it doesn't fly like other warbirds, and it's not just because of the trike deal. It just really doesn't. Dennis Farley, gotta jump out, get back to working on fire truck. Y'all have a great one. Everybody blow Dennis up with emojis. He's been um battling. In, in Texas, he's been working his butt off. Uh, social media is not the same without him. Blow up Dennis Farley, everybody, on the chat with some emojis, would you? Um, 
Just Wing It's got an event, St. George, Utah, next month. Uh, thread on RC Groups. Yep, Horizon or FMS. Michael Honeychuck, stand by. Operators are standing by. I'm not going to do it right this minute. But you might be able to, if it's if it's a, is it a pre-order or is it in stock, Honeychuck? Here's the, here's the trick of this. I mean, it's not a trick. But it's like, if you get it on my store, it's coming from Horizon Hobby anyway. It's just I get credit for being a vehicle that helps drive the market, which I am. It's okay, right? Like, I've sold a lot of planes. I want a little, I want a nickel now every time I do. So if I can get it, I'll take it. Um, look at all the emojis for Dennis Farley. Look at, whoa, fire truck, fire truck, fire truck, fire truck. Mrs. Boozer and Mary Boozer. Awesome, Michael. Uh, Chuck Chone Cakes. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, we love Dennis Farley, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I always can't wait to... Thank you, though, for that, Michael. I got... That's eh, okay, man. That's okay. It's, it's really neat, guys. I mean the way this this works um and there's there's i i got stuff cooking all the time so just wait craft king back in the house don wilman dropping emojis for a buddy captain photon yeah man i'm a i'm what 2019 social media people call uh influencer which just sounds nuts, you know. Social media, inf you you know, Cat Photon, you do it too for watches, right? Anyhow, um, EQRC, are you new here, EQRC, or did you change your name? Look at all that emoji love. I can't wait for events, though, to reconnect with these guys. I'm really heartbroken I'm not with the Timber Brothers and Bobby Kamita in Ohio right now because those dudes are fun, and I really enjoy hanging out with them. And I would have gone if I could have gone, but it's just trying to pack and move. It's the enabler. <laughs> Bad influence. Yeah, I suppose so. It depends who you ask. I guess there's worse things. So for RC Influencer, yeah, man. I, it's, I enjoy it. I've really been at it a long time. I've learned a lot about the business. And um, I enjoy it. And then, you know, I'm a businessman all week long. Too. people person you know doing the deal selling the service and really relationships you know what I mean I love business I love airplanes I love I love y'all I mean I this is me Brad Mullen stoked about my Marlin on order only EDF in the hangar is the Neptune the Marlin is a good time it really is I told uh, I was talking to Dave's RC about um, first EDFs I think he's wanting to get something for one of his boys and I'm not just saying the Marlin because I'm associated with it, but it's a great little 4S plane. If the, the kid already likes the Avanti, so the Marlin makes sense for him because it's very, very Avanti-ish. And it's 4S, easy to get into. It's got the same 11-bladed power system. EDF sounds great as that little F-16 we just did, 64 millimeter. So fun. Uh, Pilot Ryan, how do you like the F-35 70 millimeter and what do you think about Elevon's setup on it? I think the 70 millimeter F-35 is awesome. I love a 70 millimeter that takes a wide array of batteries, although all our buddies seem to think it really enjoys the 4000. I don't know a thing about the Elevon setup on it. Um, I think if you just like tweaking with radios, that's something you can do. But, man, the ailerons were so bloody responsive already that, man, I can't imagine needing it from anywhere else. Um, 
Mike Kennedy's really looking forward to the Marlin for my son. You guys, man, that thing, I think I flew it with some 3000s, 2500s, and then 2200s in the videos. Um, it surprised me how well it did on the 2200 4S. And these are um, XT60 connectors, by the way, that come stock on that plane. Dave's RC was talking about, oh, me and the Marlin last night on the show. I'll have to catch it on the replay. Um, okay, Just Wing it asked me, so Ryan, E-Flight F-15 or E-Flight F-16, go ahead, influence me. Are we talking 64 millimeter? I don't have any experience with the F-15, so I'm really not equipped to give you a great answer although i'll tell you the f-16's dope um i know wesley has experience with the f-15 and probably will have experience pretty soon with the f-16 i might ask him a uh, cup of joe thanks eric rogers i think mine is gone yep didn't work i didn't get dinner either um Brad Mullins has a ton of forest batteries. Sweet. Yeah, that's a cool thing, too, about the Marlin. You can fit the um, 2200 4S as well as something like a flat 3000 in it really well. And then the little F-16, you're only going to fit the 2200 in there. There's just not room for bigger stuff. Mary Boozer, F-16 tomorrow. Kevin's? Is that the one you're doing, Boozer? Awesome. Hey, what are you doing on your show tomorrow? The the what are you doing on your show tomorrow, Boozer? Secret. Lee Davidson loves the E Flight F fifteen. Awesome plane. I have about sixty flights on his. Cool. Who's leaving? You out of here, Dave? Dave's R C might be leave are you leaving? It looks like he is. Hey. Emoji flood for our buddy Dave's RC. Guys, if you're not checking him out, do it. Hit the bell. Turn on your notifications. He posts a lot. Um, and he's jacking his game up. These guys are ramping it up, dudes. Um, it's fun. Two guest boozers. Anthony Sanfilippo. Better get Rosie a new sewing machine while you're at it. F-16, tasty. Da, 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 da. Later, Dave. See you later. Love the F-16. Three-minute flight time. The little one, you can get longer than that on it if you milk it. Eric Quinn, I got you. I got you, EQ. Eric Quinn, cool. Uh, emojis. Look at all the emojis for Dave. Dropping it like it's hot cupcake. Why? Because he's dipping out early. Yep, Kevin's show tomorrow is James from Motion RC. We'll be talking about the Storch crash or maiden tomorrow. Whoa, it's going so fast. Let me back it up. We'll talk about the Storch crash or maiden tomorrow, then the jolly good. Uh, Kevin's F-16 tomorrow. Mary Boozer's show. We've got James from Motion RC talking about the Storch uh Maiden flight or the crash and the jolly good show. Okay, Dave, cool. Um, Captain Crouton says, Okay, Wesley, I accepted you as a Facebook friend. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Let me fix it. Boom. Okay. Wreck him, Roy. Well, we all give you a bunch of emojis, Dave, like you were leaving. Take the hint and beat it, kids. You bother me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So look at guys, it's been an hour and 15 minutes. Lay it on me. I want to talk about next week a little bit because I'm moving. I don't have internet at that house. I don't have the keys to that house. I probably am going to work up a premiere um, and then maybe go live from my phone or something for a minute. So tonight, it's the last, I would like to say it's bittersweet, but like I'm not emotionally attached to property. I mean, it's a drag. I don't want to move because it's a nuisance. Yes, I love the house and the memories in it and stuff, but 
uh, I've accepted it, you know, I'm out. So it's more of a drag than anything. So yeah, this is the last show from this set. I mean, I can bring my instrument panel with me for sure. Um, a bye week is okay, Ryan. Yeah, I'll probably do a premiere. I hate missing a week at this point. This is episode 55 weeks in a row. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to miss. Um, even though I easily could. Um, I don't know. It, I, I'll try to give you some kind of for, look, just plan on a premiere. Nine o'clock. Um, next Saturday. Lee Davidson, you're funny. I'm not even done with it yet. No internet at home. Join the club. Think I can get extended DSL at home. It's junk. I hate moving more than watching. Oh, Captain. <laughs> uh, yeah, moving stinks. Into an era. We were used to moving every two or three years for 21 years. Actually, that works out good. Hey, back up, Jack. Actually, that works out good because I will be at Jolly Good next weekend and want to go live Saturday at the show. You okay with me being on Saturday? You do whatever you want. I'm not made plans yet, but this is the time slot on the Pilot Ryan Network. So, do what you got to do. Um... Drunkville wait, says Captain Crouton. HTC, gameplay videos. You got good momentum. Guessing your EC1500 video going to blow up too. I'm guessing so too. I, honestly, I, I, I should be getting it ready to go right now. My, my Havoc Maiden is going to be sweet too, but I wanted to get more flights on it. <laughs> Before I turned it into party favor, confetti. Uh, thanks for that though, man. It is clipping along good. That's what I'm saying. I'm not missing stuff. Um, out of town where I can do what I want when I want, says Lee Davidson for sure. I get it, man. I want to be out in the country too, but this is where I'm at. It's crazy. I sold my Muncie house in another town that used to be where we lived. Uh, we've been renting it out for eight years and we sold it last week. And then um, we sold this house we're in and close. It's I got no time in between. So we're closing on the place and then got to be out and in at the same time. I don't want to move it. I don't want to move everything twice. So it's going to be one day of just nuts. Three days for Jolly Good. David Christie. House I'm at now, 700 foot off road. Took six months to get high speed internet. Yikes. Uh, Eric Quinn. The cargo plane is like $3.99. Go triple time. Get a big Sunday and eat it with some pleasure. Because peanuts ain't for free. Judy ain't got no game. Um, 400 bucks. That's right. 400 bucks. If you go buy and fly, you can get it cheaper if you, a little bit cheaper if you go plug and play. In the tube deep, what is going on? What is going on? So, questions. Questions, questions. Lay it on me. Um, lay it on any of your buddies in here. I'll help moderate questions. What is up in the tube deep? Yo, Ryan. I'm thinking about driving down. That would be sick, Boozer. Ryan and Dave's RC rocking it. I'm not going to jolly good Dave's RC. Um, what's up? Says just wing it to in the tube deep. Starts on Friday at noon and Sunday afternoon. Looking forward to jolly good. David Christie's going to be there. Make sure you go say hi to Mary Boozer. Um, ready or not, I saw that comment earlier. We need an ex inexpensive F-14. L like, man, how would you do it? Those those engines are so far apart, man. You gotta have two. 
Wonder how much weight it can lift. I don't know, but boy, it's sturdy. I mean, it's like a carbon Z plane, guys. It's it's built for ripping it up. Um, <laughs> watch, watch for the hug out of nowhere, West. That's how you'll know Dave is there. Treble troublemaker in the house. Sweet. Uh, Brad Mullins has the Avio C-130 Fat Albert scheme. Super nice plane. Nice. John Turnbull, thinking of ordering FMS 1100mm Zero. Is it any good? Uh, I have not met a bad Zero, and it's FMS, so yes, it'll be good. Dave's RC, you going to... Georgia? Don't miss the dates. Don't mess up the dates. Um, let's do it. The Flying Pancake will be there. Do you have one of those, David Christie? In the brig. What's up? Troublemaker in the brig? <laughs> Well, is that it? Hugs for everyone, whether you like it or not. Thanks, Anthony. Editing new vid now. Dave, nice brother. That's a long drive, but would love to meet you. Also, Dave, I will be at Fallen Law the entire week now. Um, Eric Rogers, Dave's RC. I'm going, bro. I need a vacation. Sweet. Brad Mullins. What is in the pipeline for arrows? You'll hear it here first. And I think it should be relatively soon that there's something else. I'll just stop it there. Dave Christie's pancake is awesome. Maple syrup? Syrup or syrup? Which is it? Syrup or syrup? Syrup? Syrup. He's a sneaky little pee hopper popper. Um, <laughs> fix your MIG landing door. Jeff RC has the fix. Yeah, flip it twice on the ground and then take off. Flip your gear makes three. They go up right away. I flip it twice real fast. Take off, flip it the third time, and they shut like they're supposed to. Chris Jackson says... Dave's RC, you can stop by Pegasus Club in Hagerstown, Maryland to get a pre-flight in. Uh, Don Willman replaced my Spectrum receiver with an Admiral RX700T in it. Now my transmitter has high-pitched squeals between reading altitude, voltage, etc. Is that normal for that receiver with DX8G2? I have no idea. No idea. No grass for that one, John. Flip. I'll get it. Flip hard. Flip hard. Let's see. Or DCRC. Man, everybody wants you to stop by, man, on, on your way to Georgia. Says it will take me about 18 hours to get there. I'm going to figure it out. Um, Aaron Morita, have you thought about going to the AMA West Expo in November? I would love to do that, but I have to, I'd have to be sponsored somehow. I can't do it. I can't. That's, the network can't do it yet either. But um, eventually that would be fantastic to do things like that. I love traveling uh, for the hobby and and getting meeting everybody and seeing everybody and um, getting to fly. I mean, that's what started this all. I'm not like some radio guru dude or whatever. It's like you know what? When we fly and we make these videos, it it, it connects. We're sharing information. We're we're rooting for our buddies to have success. And um, this is and this is where we're at.
Um, so that's where the rubber meets the road. I'd love to get to more places. John Turnbull, I'm having trouble with CG on E-Flight PT-17. Got it slightly nose heavy, but still need a lot of down elevator when under power. Are you talking about the micro or the other one? Either way, um, same thing. It's hard. The very short nose makes it hard to get the, the weight the way it needs to be. Um... So, I just say keep loading it up, man. Get rid of that down elevator. Down elevator is a definite good sign that it's not heavy enough in the front. Or, there's just an incidence problem in the design phase. I fly Spectrum and Futaba. And really don't have trouble with either. Um... <laughs> Joe all great time. I have just posted my 303rd video today. Lee Davidson's hangar. Not the jolly good flying. It's in your backyard, bro. One, da, 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 da. Joe and all great time. All's closer for me, bro, says Jeff. Um, he's big in the turbines. Uh, David Wilson, see you later. Late to the party again. What did I miss, man? We were just, Actually, we just put together the EC-1500 because it was so easy. Um so easy aqua equals water extremely excited i caught the stream glad to have you here glad to have you um eric quinn does arrows planes take painting well got to paint one yellow since roy want won't sell um you his the, yeah they should take paint like anything else does is Naw in the fall next month? September? Yeah, it's probably not happening for me. Um, I definitely will. Wesley, David Christie, coming to Naw in the fall too. Boozer, see you there as well. Just bought the Arrows RC P51. Aqua equals water. Awesome, man. We had a good time flying that, baby. It should do well. It should do well. I think it's, uh, what do we fly in there? 2200 3S? Michael Honeychuck's going to try to go. Uh, Mitchell Farley, Ryan, I need to print and send you some cargo to drop out of that bird. Do it, man. Do it. September every year. Fall Nall's new, though, right? Isn't Nall in the fall like two years old? I did not see uh, that in the tube deep. I did not see that PT-17 um, hashtag emoji. <laughs> hashtag emoji. So guys, obviously uh, the next video should be the EC-1500. We got the maiden in the books. I just got to put it together play with the light zoom it in um do my thing with the logos and all that stuff and build out the video and try to get that out to you um and then we're gonna fly it some more i i've been kind of not wanting to do maidens uh videos lately but man they've been really good so like the maiden on the ec1500 i thought was really good the maiden on the havoc was really good and neither of those are out yet um, LJ Hobby Life, Arrows does have that 15% deal, might scoop up the Bearcat. LJ Hobby Life, are you on Facebook? Hit me up in Messenger because I have links for the everything that's at Hobby Zone as well. Um, there's a way to also go through me there just like on Amazon. So I've got an affiliate thing hooked up and it should be in place already um i actually need to check my email and stuff today keith okay cool he works for the same company as me change of view maybe yeah phone all's new at the end of the like long amazing ryan needs to go jeff needs to go dave needs to go everyone needs to go no you're on instagram okay 
Me, uh, so am I. Message me there. Do you, do you follow me on Instagram, LJ? I, should I already know you do? We chat about his turbines. Okay, let me know. Yes, I will. Did you say Bearcat? Is that what you're talking about? Tja. Chris Jackson, Mary Boozer, are you sponsoring people to go? Yeah, Aqua. Tell them I sent you. It ain't too late to send you send them an email. That's what it's about a little bit. Yeah, it is fast. David Christie made his L39 camo today. Outstanding flyer and surprisingly fast. I love those landing gear on that thing and the way it sits. Um, there's some stuff I always... Man, I wish I had every one. And, and some, sometimes I've had them and still wish I had them. But it's like, man, they're, I'm, I'll run out of space. I'm trying. I'm. I'm. I'm taking planes to the shop every day and still have more to get out of here. Um, and I get rid of them. Let's see. See a ranger. Rangers leaving. Who's ranger? L J Hobby Life. Thanks, Aqua. That's the best, man. You know, it's it's a neat deal because we're the ones who have been dropping the info. We get to do the product launches of that Aero stuff right here, which is just cool, right? And so they appreciate that. And I've worked hard behind the scenes and um, have got it worked out. So, um, LJ, definitely hit me on Instagram. Remind me. I'm going to... What's your name on Instagram? LJ Hobby Life. All right. Underscore and all that stuff. There you are. Oh, yeah. Do I follow you? I'm gonna boom requested you got a private account awesome cool we'll do that later uh, you, Keith how do you highlight somebody's name in these chat rooms to get their attention I don't know you might try putting an at sign in front of their name and see if it does it LJ hobby life I just requested you on insta um, 21 planes in my garage hangar now I am to the point where I have to sell one or crash one to get a new one uh, aqua equals water dude thanks so much for that nice words absolutely love the channel watch you guys for a long time that sounds like RCR training command days John Turnbull where can I check out the arrow planes can somebody drop a link for John to Hobbyzone.com. Hey, look, uh, follow me, Aqua, and uh, then I'll, I'll get you. I'll, I'll hit you on Instagram as well. Um, so, look, let me see. I'm going to edit this just a little bit so you can see my handle on Instagram. Let me move it over. And you can see my handle right above me here at the underscore pilot Ryan on Instagram. Hobbyzone.com. That's not quite a clickable link. Jeannie Graff. Hey, Pilot Ryan, what's happening tonight? Thanks for hosting us this Saturday evening, 7 35 p.m. here in Phoenix. Cool. Um,. Glad to have you. Jeannie, do you fly aircraft? Arrows has their own website too. That's right, but we're going with Hobby Zone. Um, we're going with HobbyZone.com for now. Gotcha. All right, yeah, yeah, do it, and I'll, I'll, try, I'll get you back. Um, I will not probably dig into my phone too much right now. 
So be looking forward to the premiere next Saturday, and then I will go live and talk to you guys after that. Premieres are usually not very long. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be more than 15 minutes or so. I don't know what I'm going to put up yet. Um, it may not be a premiere at all, and I might go live. I, it just depends. But be forewarned that next week's going to be from somewhere else. Um, crazy, actually, that this is the last one here. That's a little better. Yeah, man. What's the difference? Arrows versus Hobby Zone. Nothing. Um, the, the difference is that HobbyZone.com is an established online destination that's been around for a lot longer than ArrowsRC.com. There's really no difference except at HobbyZone.com you're going to also find eFlight FMS products along with many other brands of products where the Arrows RC website more than likely just has the Arrows RC aircraft. It's still still all hobby zone. Eric Rogers, see you later, man. Everybody give Eric Rogers uh, a big bunch of emojis on his way out of here. Good night, pilots. Check out my first video. Uh, Pegasus RC Club, Mason Jackson, battery failure. Um, Fred Barron says he doesn't use Facebook. Send me your address. Talking to somebody, I think. Um, oh, man, that's awesome, dude. Thanks. I really appreciate all the videos you do. Extremely knowledgeable. Really got me into RC aircraft other than helis and quads. I appreciate that a lot. Um Here's a rare video of Sean from a year ago, says Just Wing It. Um, dude, the Aeros Corsair is awesome. These things, were, these things are solid products with a great pedigree. Three cell power is a good time in them. 1100 millimeters. It's a, I mean, uh, for the price, even without before the 15% discount, it's, it's really unreal that you get retracts and flaps and lights with that Corsair. It's it's crazy. Sack time for Craig. See you later. Catch you next time. Um, however we end up getting there. Let's see. What are we looking at? Oh, man. We're approaching two hours already. Um, Craig Beaven says goodbye, everybody. Who's leaving? Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out, unless you just hated it. <laughs> um, Jeff's Custom RC hopes to be flying tomorrow and posting on YouTube. Jeff's Custom RC, check it out. Hooju, do do the voodoo that you done did. Uh, discovered that flying my Waco in FMS P51 today was good therapy, great distraction from family. Uh, problems, demands all your focus, keeps you totally in the plane. Don Wilman has the Aeros P-51 and T-28, both great flyers. Um, everybody say goodbye, Craig. Um, see you later, Aqua. Appreciate you coming by. See you on social, all that good stuff. Anybody, uh, f you know where to get me. Hit me on Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Um, comments, I see them all over here. Yes, Mike. It, it's one link that goes on the end of everything. I'll send it to you. And you... Also, you can just go there through there, through me. And then whatever you you get, it, it will work that way. It's, it's site-wide, except for certain things like... Um, scratch and dent, or like super discounted items and perhaps uh items with like z very not very much margin but like for the most part do it and it all helps it's all cool even the stuff that doesn't earn anything it's still trackable data where we actually know what good a voice does the business coach in the house mr t 1035 what is up um 
checking out of the pattern just wing it see you later getting up early to get some flying done over the beautiful mojave mike kennedy needs some arrows props yeah man coaching the house a little late tonight i'll try to send you that anyway and it should be working i'll be able to tell um if it is relatively soon today was supposed to be up and running so um, but I also didn't receive an email, so don't know for sure. Um, got it. My wife's so funny. Um, John Turnbull ordered the Corsair just now? Man, wait a minute. Let me give you... Uh, okay, cool. That's cool. Um, just tell them where you came from. Anybody try the Hobby King Beechcraft Baron? 1760 millimeters. I hear it's the same as the VQ models. You'll love the Corsair, John, says Jeff. Hope to be there after lunch if it's not raining. Um, favorite plane to fly right now. Awesome, coach. What time of day for flying over the Mojave Desert, thinking of the winds, says Huju. Uh, Fred asks Keith if is that Jets over Thornburg hosted by FARC. We're going to roll in like five minutes. Any last-minute questions for the week? Um, events, throw them out here. Get your buddies, get hook it up. Get your flying session dialed in with your pals. This is a good place to network. John Turnbull, uh, you cannot do the full three segment of flaps unless you want to make it happen. Um, we did a video that's going, that shows you all that stuff right here on this channel. There's actually a couple videos of us flying that Corsair here. Um, you can go to the Aeros RC uh, playlist and see those planes in action. Uh, David Martin Graff, I don't know the answer to that. Is Spectrum coming out with a host of new radios? I have no idea. Uh, just when it tells Huju he's going out early um, to beat the winds. Favorite plane to fly right now? Man, I'm loving that MiG-17, but I like my F-18 as well. And this EC-1500 is going to get some love for a while. I want to I wanna use it to its full ability. Um, FPV, cargo drop. I want to have some fun with this thing. It's utility, and I intend to use it as such. And I think when we're done with the workups, it's still going to be a useful tool. Um, I mean, imagine it's got AS3X. It's got safe. You put camera gear in it. It's going to be nice and stable. It should be a good chase plane. Um, I'm excited about it. So we keep doing that. Ryan, I got back to the T-45. How often do you use the slats? Um, I, I will use the slats every time as long as it's not a crazy crosswind. Um, if it's a crazy crosswind, I want to keep it clean and just some flaps. Um, maybe I'll go for the uh, air brakes a little bit, but not the, uh, the slats. So I like them all the time. I mean, that's the whole thing about that bird. Mitchell Farley, thank you so much, dude. Uh, appreciate that. Um, you guys, he dropped a link earlier in the show to the Patreon page. If you want to see some of that exclusive content, that's what YouTubepreneurs are doing. Um, th there's some stuff that I don't want to go public public. Um, so that's where guys go for it. Um, let's see. When I was on the phone with Horizon talking about the DX9 and IX12, the rep said they're waiting on coming out with some new stuff. Not sure what to do. If I should wait or upgrade from DX6 Gen 3. Um, I mean, certainly you would think their new stuff would be compatible with, um, what 
what they have already. But I don't know. I I don't know. I guess we won't know till they tell us. John Turnbull, what admiral receiver would you recommend for the Corsair? Um, you, you you know what? I'm not sure. You have to go with what's right for you. I think any one of them will work. You know what I mean? You have to make sure you uh, have room for it uh, in there. I can't remember. Cause I didn't use a gyrotus whatever I had and uh, crammed it back in there. So I don't remember if I had room for it or not. Don't remember. Mr. T Coach, he's liking his IX-12 now. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking my DX-9. I mean, it's a lot like my DX-8, but it's got a, obviously got an extra channel. Um, I got it to get my F-14 dialed in. I cannot wait to do that. I cannot wait to do the F-14. Um, super pumped. Fred asks Keith if he knows a Bill Blacker, former S3 aviator. Mike Kennedy loves his DX9. Can't imagine needing more. HTC gameplay, open TX radio plus multi protocol module. One radio to rule them all. Yeah, there's something for everybody in this hobby. That's the, that's the, the good thing. That's the good part. We're going to do it, y'all. We're going to wrap it. Did someone say IX-12? There's the boozer. Guys, don't forget to check out the boozers tomorrow, 8 o'clock Eastern time. He's going to tell us how the storch went. Um, he's going to talk to James at Motion RC about the jolly good. And uh, I, think, I think you had some guests as well, didn't you? So it'll be an interesting show. Tune in to your buddy Dave's RC on Friday nights, 9 Eastern time. Of course, we're 55 shows in right here at 9 o'clock Eastern Time on Saturday. Um, and uh, again, Wesley, 8 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll see you guys there. Huh? You never know, David. You never know. So, yeah, check it out. We're going to wrap it. Guys, uh, follow me on social. I'm everywhere. Pilot Ryan on Instagram. Uh, the YouTube channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a thing. Do that to all your buddies you want to follow. Um, RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group is a good place to drop stuff. Man, Facebook's got a million groups uh, where you can see the same content on a million different pages if you'd like. Um, maybe another guest depending on a schedule. Right on, Boozer. Uh, let's see. Storch is huge. That's what she said. Don Willman, Fred Mudbud. No, quite a few are seeing real deal. Uh, what motor engine on the Storch? Find out tomorrow or go watch last week's show at the Mary Boozer's YouTube channel. Um, night, all good show tonight. Forward to the, yes, looking forward to the EC1500. I can't wait for y'all to see it, man. I really should get cracking on it right away. Um, Michael uh, Boozer says we're building a B29, also electric, 109 inches. Uh, you're welcome, Keith. You're very welcome. Army colonels and Navy commanders pepper the clubs around here. Uh, Reckham Roy says see the rats tomorrow on the Boozer's channel. Absolutely. Um, you guys who need links to Hobby Zone stuff, the Marlin new links are in the videos the marlin videos on this channel um check that out those are the new links if you're gonna pop for it go go check that there get it go there that way um and we'll be fleshing out all the descriptions with the new updated links for um hobby zone obviously you can go to hobbyzone.com as well and uh do it but if you're gonna get these guys um it is definitely helpful if you go through our links so they know where you're coming from. Uh, you guys are the best. I hate leaving, but it's time. I hate it. Last minute emoji shower. Let's do it. Let it go. Let it rain. Last minute emoji shower. Two minutes. And I want to go. Emojis. 
emoji, <laughs> emojis. Um, I guess that no one cares. <laughs> no, there's a delay. Thanks, Ryan. Awesome show. Waiting on the videos. San Anthony San Filippo is out of here. Don Willman, thank you. Uh, Jeff's customer C. Yes, thank you for that. Check out Jeff's customer C. He's got his links in here. Uh, Mary Boozer, hate to see you leave. Love to see you go. Says Fred. Wreck him, Roy. There we go with the emojis. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Tomcat driver. What stories he must have. What the hell, Boozer, is that? <laughs> what? Um, look at all that emoji shower. Rocket sauce. Don Wilman. Randy Milton, what's going on? Exclamation point. Um, Don Anthony Mitchell, look at that. All those rats, you guys are cool. I wonder what YouTube thinks about the emoji storm that we do. That's fun. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to get my new Havoc again. Brian Chambers, good to see you, man. You're just in time. We're leaving. We're leaving. Making it rain emojis. Check it out. Mr. T with the literal translation. Uh, coach. Awesome. Bear G, let it rain. Yes. Face palm, I guess. Dude, and it's in a funny. Ah, we digress. All right, let's roll this thing. I'm going to bounce. Good night, rats. Brian Chambers been here the whole time, keeping it quiet, lurking on social. What's going on? Good to see you, man. Missed you, uh, even though you've been here. Havoc. Yes. Everybody says hi to Brian Chambers. RC Flyer, cool show. Yeah, you're very welcome, man. Uh, I don't like poop emojis. Anyway, we're going to roll. Five. Hanger rats forever. Three you later. You're too good to be forgotten. See you next time. Not at this studio. Last show at the house. Is it sad? Eh, I don't know. But it's the last one here. We'll see you. Episode 55 in the book. Stick a monkey pants. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Follow me on social, y'all. Love it. Keep it up with the comments and the videos. It's what it takes. Peace.